Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to AdMats Plus Maths. In this video, you will be learning how to answer another problem about binomial expansion which you can find from the paper 1 of Additional Mathematics, Variant 2 of May June 2020. The question is asking us to find the first three terms in the expansion of the quantity of 4 minus x over 16 to the power of 6 in ascending powers of x. Give each term in its simplest form. Okay, this question will give you three marks. If you are doing binomial expansion, you have to remember the formula, which is a plus b raised to the power of n is equivalent to a to the power of n plus nc1 a to the power of whatever is the index minus 1 times the second term which is the b plus nc2 times a to the power of n minus 2 then b squared okay so you notice that b raised to the power of 1 in nc1 b to the power of 2 in nc2 of course if b is raised to the power of 3 that will become nc3 okay and so on so if b is raised to the power of r, then th this is ncr, okay? And on the last portion will be, or the last term will be, the second term raised to the index of the expansion, okay? So that's basically the formula. Now, if you want to find out the first term in this expansion, okay, I have go I'm going to take a look at the first term, which is 4, and then raise it to the index since the formula says a to the power of n. So, it is 4 to the power of 6. That's the first term. The second term will be with nc1. But what is n? n is 6. So, 6c1. And then, a to the power of n minus 1. What is a? a is the first term of the binomial. So, first term is 4. Then n is 6, 6 minus 1 is 5. So it will become 4 raised to 5. And then I'll have the b. I'll just take a look at the second term. What is the second term? Is it x over 16 or is it negative x over 16? Okay. To clear it out, you have to include the negative sign. Okay. If this is positive, then definitely the second term will be positives but since that is minus or negative then the second term is negative so negative x over 16 plus okay the third term now the third term is nc2 but again what is n 6 so 6 c2 6 c2 then a to the power of n minus 2 what is n 6 6 minus 2 is 4 okay what is a that is the first term so 4 power of 4 because 6 minus 2 is 4. Then, the second term raised to the power of 2. Okay? So, we got now the first term. This is the second term. And this is the third term. Okay? Of course, it will go on. But, we are only asked for the first three terms of the expansion. Okay? Now, we will just input everything into our calculator. And 4 power of 6 is 400. 4,096. Uh, 4, okay? Plus 6C1 is 6. 4 power of 5. You multiply everything in your calculator and then divide it with a negative 16, which will give you a negative value of 384. Okay? Now, where, why is there an x there? Because you have an x here. x power of 1 is just x. Okay? Next, 6C2. Okay, times 4 power of 4. Then divide it with negative 16 raised to the power of 2. Okay, I repeat. 4 power of 4, you get the value of that. And then negative 16 raised to the power of 2 is positive. Okay, because negative times negative is basically positive. So it will be all positive, 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 positive. So therefore, this will become plus. Okay, what will be the value if you put that in your calculator? It will become 15. Okay, now why is it x squared? Because basically, this x should also contain the 
index 2. That's why it is x squared and so on. Okay? So our answers, final answers now are 4096 is the first term, negative 384x is the second term, and the third term is 15x squared. Okay, so that those are the first three terms of the expansion. Let's move on to letter B. Hence, find the term independent of x in the expansion of, okay, the, this is from the number or letter A, okay, and then you multiply it with x minus 1 over x squared, which is a square of a binomial. So it is a square because it is raised to the power of 2. And it is also a binomial because you have a one, one term and then two terms. So two terms, binomial. Okay, next. How will you find the term independent of x? To find out the term independent of x, you should know that you should expand the binomial first or the square of a binomial. How to expand the square of a binomial? You use the formula a plus b squared is equal to first term squared plus 2 times the first term and the second term plus the square of the second term. So what is the first term? The first term is x. The second term is negative 1 over x. Okay? So the first step is to square the first term, which is x squared. Okay? First term is x. You square it, x squared. Next, you multiply 2 okay, times the first term, which is x, times the second term, which is negative 1 over x. Okay? The third step is to square the, to square the second term. I will just square the second term by negative 1 over x, okay, I will square that, okay, next, you simplify this square of a binomial, so it, you will get x squared, okay, next, 2x times negative 1 over x is negative 2, why negative 2, okay, x and x here will be cancelled, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, next, I'll have negative 1 squared is 1, and then I'll have x squared. Remember, if you have numerator and denominator raised to a, an index, you have to put an index on the numerator. At the same time, you have to put an index also with the denominator. Okay? Therefore, our simplified form is x squared minus 2 plus 1 over x squared. But this is not yet the answer because we are looking for the term independent of x. So what do we mean by term independent of x. The, the meaning of that is it doesn't have any value of x. For example, this negative 2 doesn't have an x. It is totally independent of x. But again, this is not the only expansion that we get or we are looking for. We are connecting the square of a binomial to the expansion with the power of 6. So therefore, I will multiply this negative 2 to 4096 to get a term that is independent of x. But there is another one. I will multiply that 1 over x squared with 15x squared. So to find out the term independent of x, I will basically multiply negative 2 and 4096 and then add it with the product of 1 over x squared and 15x squared. Why will I multiply those two? Because basically, it will cancel out the x squared below and the x squared above. Okay? Now there. So negative 2 times 4096, independent of x. You add that with 1 over x squared multiplied by 15x squared to cancel out the x squared and x squared. Okay? So totally, it will be also independent of x. So you'll have negative 8192 plus 15. Okay? You multiply negative 2 and 4096, you will get negative 8192. Then you add it with 1 times 15 is 15. Okay? So the final answer that you get now is negative 8177. As simple as that, you will get 6 marks all in all for question number 3 of this paper. 
this will be our marking scheme. So you will see that first term, second term, third term. So each of them will get one mark for three marks. Okay? For letter B, okay, you expand the expand the binomial. Okay? And then try to take a look at this. You will get one mark. Okay? Actually, this one comes from letter A. Okay? Then Term independent of x, you have negative 2 times 4,096. Then you add it with 15, you'll get another 1 mark. And then the final answer, which is negative 8,177, you will also get 1 mark. A total of 3 marks for letter B. A total of 6 marks for the whole question number 3. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something. Happy learning. Don't forget to like subscribe and click that notification bell so, so that you will be updated with our new lessons in mathematics and additional mathematics.